Hey everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today's video is a Colleen with me. We are going to hit the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, as well as our bedroom. Starting off here in the living room, I'm not going to hit it too deep. Just going to get some surfaces disinfected, get the blankets taken care of, as well as our coffee table. This is our most commonly used room in the house. Omar plays video games in here with the big TV and I'll usually come snuggle up next to him and take a nap. So yeah, this room definitely needs a bit of attention, almost daily, but sometimes we let it slip. changes I want to make in this room are the throw pillows and I actually love changing out the blankets with the seasons as well. We got that blanket on top from my mom for Christmas. We both use it all the time. It's so soft. I think it's the Kenzie brand um, which I think you can find at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx because I'm sure that's where she got it. All right, and then we're gonna get started here in the dining room. I got that big bag of candy from Target on clearance yesterday. It was on Omar's list when I asked him if he needed anything before I left work. I love our bar. I got that from Target for $30 on clearance. I am that girl that will see something on clearance and hold out and hold out and hold out until it hits 70% and then I'm going to snatch it up. And if it's not there waiting for me, then I kind of just realized it wasn't meant to be. If you're wondering where I got that dining room table, I actually found it on OfferUp down the street from our house for about 200 bucks. It was a little crazy and hard to get up the stairs because we live in a three-story walk up, but it was totally worth the struggle and the price. I'm obsessed with it. It was practically brand new. Yeah, so I'm definitely clearly on the lookout for a cordless vacuum still. This one is a bit of a struggle. I do like the Shark brand, so if you have any recommendations that you guys can drop down below, that would be awesome. you guys can tell but our dining room living room 
you know, everything's one big common area, so it makes it easy to be able to just plug it in once and hit the whole space. I plugged that in to one outlet in the wall and it got the whole space, which is nice. I just definitely need something that is cordless because you can see I'm just dragging the cord around, having to flip it over the couch, and there's a lot you don't see that's a little complicated. Sentiva brand. It is very effective, but at the same time smells amazing. It doesn't have that normal Clorox smell. I love it. I use it on all the surfaces in the house. I don't know if it's the best cleaner for your wood tables because this is a solid wood table, um, but it, it does the job. I'm not a huge wood aficionado like I'm not 100% sure of the things I should be using on my wood I need to do some research for sure if you have any tips definitely drop those below said I really use that stuff everywhere especially in the kitchen it really gets up everything off the counters and then of course it makes it smell so good I use it on everything again I don't know if I should be using it on the stove top I don't know too much about certain products that I should be using there so again if you have any recommendations for what works for you and gets things up as well as protects the glass I guess definitely let me know go back and dry everything because the initial wipe down I use the Sentiva spray but on top of that I'm wiping everything with the multi-surface seventh generation wipes they work really well together and they both smell amazing Thank you. 
dishes aren't too bad this day. I went ahead and dumped all the old leftovers from the fridge. Unfortunately that happens a lot because I'll make a bit more than I need to. Uh, I'm just kind of used to that. I grew up with six siblings and I would help cook at home and we would be cooking for 10 people. So it's hard now <laughs> living with just me and Omar because I cook so much food on accident and then I save it. And I do take some to work, but I always save both of us a share, and Omar's not really the biggest leftover eater, I can tell. I know it's like double duty to be hitting that again with the Sentiva, but during this time it's just so hard to not disinfect everything. Like I just feel like everything should be disinfected. We don't have guests over or anything, but we both are still working. We're essential workers. So we come home and just bring everything into the house that we encountered that day. So I just feel like I have to disinfect everything everywhere all the time right now. So the story behind us having two blankets on our bed, it's because the quilt is the one that we sleep with at night and the blue one is the one I throw on during the day for looks and as far as hanging out on it, it's very soft and fluffy. It's really like a cloud, but Omar gets too hot with it at night. So I really have to take it off, fold it every night and throw it on the chair until the next day. It's pretty funny. but. It's a little compromised to where the bed still looks beautiful to me, but at the same time, it's functional for nighttime when it's way too hot for him. So a little compromise, a little story there. So 
month, I decided to stop taking baskets of clothes into the bedroom and letting it pile up in the corner of the room. So <laughs> we clearly started doing it in the closet and I'm finally going through and getting all the baskets of clean clothes out and I'm gonna start folding everything because the closet really needed the floor to be a little more walkable, I guess. So yeah, I got a little crazy in there. So I learned this way of putting the hangers in and hanging things up right after folding from Love Meg. I started to prefer doing it this way because initially I was putting the hanger on each one as I was going and I feel like it slowed me down. That took no time at all. So since we moved into this place, Omar didn't really have his own nightstand. This was his makeshift nightstand for a while. But at the end of this, you'll see me go ahead and build the new one I bought.
and I got him I got it from Target for $29 not including my discount and it was a great deal to try to add the same wood throughout my nightstand is that dark espresso wood only because I've had that since I was in high school I even knocked out the top cubbies to make it one long shelf and that's where I put my books with my bookend it actually broke in the move but we both said you know what? it actually looks better like this so on his side I got the little two cubby one when mine has the four I finished that and then I went ahead and placed it and put the drawer that I bought to go in it as well I hope you guys enjoyed this clean with me I can't wait to see you in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe bye guys